Well, the mega camp here at Lindenwood College in St. Louis is in the books. Greg Peterson alongside Nate Klaus for HuskerOnline.com. Nate, we had four Husker coaches here along with a couple of hundred other D1 coaches <laughs> and about every other coach in the country. But, uh, you know, Nebraska had you know, Coach Austin was here, Coach Becton was here, Coach Fisher was here, and Coach Tuioti was here. Um, got to see a lot of talent at this camp today. What are your thoughts? Yeah, a ton of talent. Obviously, the numbers at, the, at this mega camp are, are unreal. Um, you know, over a thousand kids probably today have cycled through. Um, and so, I mean, what a great opportunity for the coaching staff to come to St. Louis, be able to get eyes on not just St. Louis kids, but kids from Nebraska, kids from Kansas, Iowa. I mean, really all over the Midwest. Uh, even a couple kids from came from Florida. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really just all over the country. So, uh, you know, that's always beneficial when you can do that and you can get eyes on some young kids too um, and, and get in front of some players that you've even offered. So uh, there's a lot of benefits that, that came out of the camp. And, um, you know, I, I I think that there's even a handful of players that, that didn't take part in the camp but were here uh, that, uh, you know, th there may have been some sign language between some coaches and, and some of those players in the, in the stands. So uh, that was beneficial for, for people too. But, um, you know, by and large, I think one of the, the biggest takeaways today is just uh, how efficient this camp is run and the amount of talent and, and the amount of coaches that, that come out here and, uh, and all benefit from it. Absolutely. And uh, we had some nice in-state kids show up. Uh, one, one big name, Isaac Gifford, he was here at the second session and performed very well. Yeah, did did tremendous. Isaac Gifford uh, came out, <clears throat> ran uh, a great 40 time. Uh, I think 454 electronic 40 uh, is what Gifford, uh, you know, posted and, and had a, a great broad jump as well uh, based off the reaction of that group. Um, and, and we knew that he was going to run well. Uh, he's been working out with Chris Slatt back in Lincoln, and, and, and I think that, uh, um, you know, we, we thought that he would run well. And, and then he backed that up in the in the one on ones. I, I thought he did really well. You know, that's it, he's playing corner in those one on ones, so that's you know not quite his position. Um, you know, but I think he showed the ability to uh, you know that he has some natural coverage ability that he he can sink his hips and, and flip and um, you know and, and run with guys. So uh, I, I thought that was very impressive, and um, I think that he's a kid that's that's probably poised for a really big month of June. Um, you know, probably is going to earn some offers uh, once once he kind of completes his camp tour or as he goes on his camp tour and um, and definitely poised for a big senior season for sure. And then there are some other uh, recruits from out of state that the uh, coaches paid a lot of attention to today. What did you see from those guys? Yeah, you know, I, I think there was you know, two that really stand out to me are a couple of cornerbacks. Uh, Ja'Kalen Johnson, who's a 2021 recruit out of uh, St. Louis Dismet. Uh, you know, he really, really impressed me. Um, that's a kid that, that earned an offer shortly after his mega camp performance last year from Nebraska. Um, and since that point in time, Travis Fisher has been recruiting him hard. Um, and, and Travis Fisher had a chance to talk with him today once again. And um, he was really, really impressive. Um, and then a younger corner that really impressed me from Michigan, uh, Miles Rouser, who's a 2022 uh, prospect. Um, and, and it was already earned an offer from Nebraska, and, and he too in, in coverage. I mean, he was uh, downright dominant. Both he and Jaqueline Johnson are uh, big-time natural corners, uh, and, and, and it's easy to see why they've got the offers that they do. Uh, so those are two guys that, that stood out to me. Um, you know, I noticed Nebraska taking a closer look at Javantez Spragans, uh, who's a, an inside offensive lineman, guard center type out of East St. Louis High School. He picked up an offer from Illinois today, which I think is his first offer, but um, maybe don't be surprised if, if Nebraska starts to pay him a little bit more attention after today. Um, you know, Jalen St. John is is a recruit and a guard prospect that they've offered. He didn't take part in today's camp, but uh, Nebraska is in the market for some guards, um, and, and I think that Spragans could be somebody that earns an offer here uh, from the Huskers down the road. Okay, well, we're, we'll be signing off here from Lindenwood College before we get eaten alive by the <laughs> bugs here tonight, but uh, we'll have plenty more on this camp coming up in the next few days. Stay logged on to HuskerOnline.com.